guys, Scorpio, Chakra Bunny Tarot here. Welcome to my sacred space of love and healing. All are truly welcome. Sorry about any background noise. My children are being crazy. All right, so it is October and you know that Halloween is one of my fit. Okay, I keep saying that one of my, it is not one of my, it is my favorite holiday. Okay, so that being said, I have, my Beauty of Horror Tarot, which I break out every October. Sorry if you can hear some clicking. That's my fan. Deal with it. I need the fan on because it is hot in here. All right. So this is not a Twin Flame reading. But however, if Twin Flamey stuff comes out, I'll be sure to let you know, Scorpio. This is going to be a general love reading. Um, it is timeless. However, we will be focusing on the energy of October. So, but whenever you find this reading, it is definitely for you. So let us dive right in. I'm starting with the tarot decks. So I've already cleansed your space with some sound healing and some, it's, it's a bell. Okay. It's a sound bell, but it clears the energy very well. So I'm starting out with the spooky tarot deck and then we're going to be um, clarifying with um, the light seers tarot. So, what do we have for Scorpio? Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know for their love life in the month of October? I'm connecting now to my spirit guides. Scorpio spirit guides, welcome. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. Let's rock and roll. Okay, what is the strongest connection right now for Scorpio? Definitely wanted to stop. Wow, Scorpio. <laughs> right off the bat, we have the Ten of Freaking Cups. Well, <clears throat> that's very, very good. <laughs> um, do we even need to go any further? Your person is very wealthy. They're holding a big, big, huge wad of cash. The female is dancing. Both of you could be dancers. Um, Wheel of Fortune. Wow, I am literally dumbfounded right now. Are you kidding me, Scorpio? How is this reading so phenomenal? I have never started a reading out like this where we have the Ten of Freaking Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. And both of those are number 10, 10, 10. So the energy of a new beginning, a fresh start, a really great fresh start, I should add. Um, you've closed out a lot of cycles and now we're starting a new cycle apparently with this person who loves to dance and has a lot of money and you guys are going to be moving in together really freaking soon like till death do us part oh my god you cannot make it up i'm done i'm done scorpio i don't even need to pull any more cards this person if you're thinking about this person this is your person Y'all going to be married. You're going to be living together literally till death do us part. Y'all are damn skeletons holding hands. Even death cannot. <laughs> even death cannot touch your love. This is a twin flame reunion, a twin flame union, period. If your love surpasses death, that is a twin flame connection. I don't give a shit when anybody says Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I'm wrong. Because I'm not. This is insane. You have the four of wands, which is the card of union. It is the card of marriage. It is the card of, of um, a stable, committed relationship. <laughs> it's you know, if you've been following me for a while, you know I call the four of wands the four pillars of stability. It's you having your person, having your dream job, having like, you know, the house, the car, like it's the American freaking dream. Um, I'm done. I don't even know what cards to pull. What, what else can we tell them about this connection? Y'all already told it all, like. Okay, so there's a possibility there could be two connections. The two ships, to me, always mean two connections. So let's pull some more cards and clarify. 
why do we have the two of pentacles we don't want to throw a wrench in this really great connection by putting in another option do we all right so it's possible in the past this person could have ghosted you that's how you'll know that this reading is for you that's how you'll know the person i'm talking about the reason they may have ghosted you or made you feel like you weren't wanted right is because they had abandonment issues so did you also they needed to create some type of balance in their life so this is not another option this is just diving into your person's energy they had severe abandonment issues okay which were you guys were reflecting off of each other they needed to learn how to balance their energy of connection with you right that's why it felt like they didn't want you oh see there it is on the bottom of the deck i know what i'm talking about they were wounded they had abandonment wounds the wounded warrior which they needed to fix before they could come forward and be in this emperor energy look at that told you i know what i'm talking about can't make it up Oh my gosh, I'm going to go into the light seers because this reading is so good. I don't even feel like we need to even go much further, <laughs> but we'll pull some more cards. We'll do some clarifying. All right. What else do we need to know about this beautiful connection? What else does Scorpio need to know about this connection? Let's get some more clarifiers so that Scorpio knows who we're talking about here, okay? Let, let's give them some confirmation that this is their person. Let's do that with the cards. Whoa. Four of Wands again. It literally flew out. I was shuffling and this card went boom and flew out. You cannot make it up. I told you this person wants to commit to you. They're not fucking around. They are dead serious about you, Scorpio. Oh my God. They're serious as a heart attack. Are you ready for it? You better be. Knight of Wands. See, there's that fire sign energy um, of someone who's who's impressed with what they see. It's it's they're so impressed by your energy that it literally surpasses any fear that they have of coming forward. This is the energy of someone who knows what they want and they come forward to claim it very quickly. The horse represents the speed at which this person is coming towards you, Scorpio. They know what they want. There is no hesitation whatsoever in this reading. The energy is gung-ho, let's go. The high priestess. So this is someone you already know, Scorpio. You are very highly in tune. You're a Scorpio. You're water sign. You have extremely high intuition. You already know who this person is. I guarantee. You already know who this person is. Oh my God. There's ancient ruins on this freaking card. Shut up. Do you see this? I just recently got an ancient ruin um, deck gifted to me by the beautiful Sheila McNeil. And I literally recognize these. We're going to read these. Oh my God. Let's go. Ready? Okay. The first ruin is Manes. This one. Manes. I don't know how to pronounce it. Manaz. Nikki Manaz. <laughs> it represents mankind, the self, friends, enemies, and social order. Okay. That's that one right there. I don't know why I felt guided to go into this, but we're going to do it. We're going to get all sorts of insight into your life, Scorpio. All right. The second rune is, let's see, <clears throat> is Lagoos. It represents water. So there's your energy, the power of renewal and your dreams and fantasies. Boom. I told you, you already know who this person is because Scorpio, you've dreamt about them. They've loved you in your dreams. This is a, oh man, this is definitely a twin, twin flame, twin soul connection. You've dreamt of this person. You know their energy and all right. So this one right here is Perthro. I, it's so crazy. I've never noticed that that's what these are. It was meant to be. I'm telling you, she gifted me these too. They're, you know, runes and she gifted me. Let me see if I can find the cards. They're right here. Look, these. <clears throat> and I'm in the process of learning them right now. I haven't used these decks yet. 
because I want to master them like I have the tarot. And I want to be able to read them for you guys. All right, so this rune is... And the ruin is based on the Germanic alphabet, for those of you that don't know. All right, so this represents a dye cup, like a cup of dye that you would use to dye clothes. It represents mysteries, secrets, and occult abilities. I told you, you don't even need me, Scorpio. I hope that you continue to need me and come back, but you really don't need me because your intuition is on point. The person that you think it is, it is, okay? And then the last one is, let's see... Um, what is the last one? I think it is. Let me look at it again. It is. It looks like. Wunjo, which is it represents joy, comfort and pleasure. Wow. So, yeah, you have nothing to worry about, Scorpio. Whoever you feel and you think it is, it is. It's them. Um, <clears throat> your intuition has been telling you this for a long time. You've dreamt of them. You've made love to them in your dreams. They've already visited you. In your dream state. Page of Wands, they've also been watching you for a while and you already know this. You've already felt their energy. You've felt them watching you. So this is someone that would keep an eye on your social media, your Facebook account, that type of energy. You're ready for it, by the way. King of Wands. So we have Knight of Wands and King of Wands. Your person is probably a fire sign. So you're a water sign. It makes sense. Your person might be a Leo. There's the... This represents Leo, Sagittarius. Um, one second, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, right? One second. Okay, Scorpio. So the final message coming through for you is expect communication from this person. Um, pro probably. The energy is so strong. I would say by the end of this week or the end of next week. Like, there's no doubt about it. This person is going to come forward if they haven't already, okay? Okay. So though it feels like you're in this energy of like um, feeling unsure about how this person feels about you, don't doubt it. <laughs> this is definitely your twin flame. If you're watching this <laughs> and you had any doubts, don't doubt it, okay? This person has thought about this long and hard and you are what they want. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call that reading that. You are what they want. That's what Spirit said to call it. You are what they want and need. Period. <laughs> All right. So we're going to move on to the gypsy witch and then the earth magic. And we're going to call this a reading. I don't even know what else to say to y'all. This, your reading has been so good. It's like phenomenal. Like your person loves you point blank period. Don't worry about it. Hey, that's it. End of story. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick up on a new collective energy for Scorpio because y'all are going to be in union. Now they're going to send me the next batch of Scorpios that need to be guided into union because you guys are in union already or you will be if you're not already. See? Boom. I told you. I don't lie. There it is. Marriage. Told you. So if you're not in union with your person, you will be. Or for some of you, you already are. If you're dotting your connection, don't. If you're already married to this person, then that, yes, that's your twin flame. There's your answer. Um, if you're not in union, you will be married to them very soon. Like, there's no doubt. So Spirit will be sending me the next batch of Scorpios that need to be guided into union because you guys are going to be in union. Period. <laughs> gift. So when this person comes in, they might come in with a gift. Wow. Oh my God. And also, can I just say right here, we have the pink roses. Now those are specifically significant for me, myself, but also for anyone who's on a twin flame journey. Um, I invite you to um, look at the short that I just made. It is a offering of of love to Lady Nada. Now, if you're not familiar with her, I suggest you Google her on YouTube. 
She goes by Lady Nada, N-A-D-A, and she is an Ascended Master who deals specifically with Twin Flame Divine Union. And she came to me um, a couple days ago and um, I shared this beautiful heartfelt moment with her where I really felt like giving up on the Twin Flame journey. I felt like giving up on this channel. I felt like giving up on everything. And she sort of talked me into keeping, to keep going. Um, I literally sat down and I was like feeling extremely defeated. And I said, I'm done. I want to be done. I need some guidance. And I connected with my guides. And I shuffled the Ascended Masters card. And that card flew out. And the message that came with Lady Nada, um, I Googled her name on YouTube and came across this beautiful meditation. Um, oh my God. And I just realized another sync right now. <laughs> this beautiful meditation, it was called um, Unlocking Your Twin Flame Gift. And there it is. It's incredible. I, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and post it to my channel. I wasn't going to, but now with all this evidence that it needs to be seen, the meditation was about visiting, you know, the, the temple, the, <clears throat> the beautiful light temple, the temple of the seven rays where Lady Nada resides and she gives you um, a, a gift that only comes with twin flame union. So there again is out there again. I'm working right now, baby. Go out there. Okay. So there again is your confirmation. Hold on one second. I'm sorry about that Scorpio. So I literally just, <laughs> I accidentally got off the video. So I'm going to have to splice this and make it one video because I got distracted by my child. So I'm so sorry. That shouldn't have happened. I tell the kids to not bother me when I'm working. And I was in the middle of a very important subject, which now I'm losing my track. But there is the confirmation that this is your twin flame or twin soul. We have the, the pink rose, which Lady Nada is known um, by, or Lady Nada. I don't know how to say her name. I think it's, it's N-A-D-A. So Lady Nada, Lady Nada, whatever, however you want to pronounce it. It doesn't matter. Um, she is represented by the pink rose, um, and she helps twin flames and twin souls to get into union and she helps them to activate their, um, twin flame gift. So when you get into union with your twin flame, you will receive a gift that both of you are able to unlock, um, and use to help humanity. That's how it works, right? That's incredible. I just, I can't. The synchronicity and the timing of that is just incredible. Look, you have love. I told you, Scorpio, if you have any doubts about this person, you need to set them aside because there should be no doubts. Okay, there it is. Um, is. I'm going to go ahead and dive into the Earth Magic deck for you and we're going to be done. Like there's this reading is so beautiful. Um, you know, I know like they say, like, no twin flame reader can tell you whether or not this person is your twin flame bull bull crap i'm sorry but if you're watching this i am almost 110 percent sure that this person is your twin flame and i got the confirmation from those signs from lady nada so and i feel like you'll know deep in your heart if you're tuned into this that this is your twin flame right it's true that nobody can tell you that no reader can specifically tell you whether this person is your twin flame but if you're here and you're watching, you know, I'm willing to bat my life that this person is your twin soul. And also, you know, you will know it deep in your heart. Only you will know. You don't need my confirmation. Okay. So we have fairies, earth magic. Um, you know, some of you might have a really strong connection to the elementals. That's how you'll know this reading is for you. Maybe you've seen fairies. Maybe you are a fairy. Maybe you've had a past life as a fairy. I don't know. Either way, you're very connected to the earth. The earth has a way of opening up to you and showing you things which others would consider not real, right? Magic. Wow, your ancestors have led you to this person. And there's your, again, your confirmation. There's the, the kundalini snake that happens only when twin flames are activated, right? 
they say right before you meet your twin flame, you have a kundalini awakening. It either happens right before you meet your person, your twin flame, or when you make love with your person, your twin, your twin flame. All the chakras will light up simultaneously when you're making love to this person. You'll know because you'll feel it. It starts in your feet and it works its way up your body until it bursts out the crown chakra, right? So if you've had that, yes, you'll know that this is another confirmation that this person is your twin flame. Your ancestors have orchestrated this, okay? You guys have done this for generations and generations. You guys have made love to each other in countless lifetimes. Last final card for Scorpio. Thank you, spirits. It's been such an amazing, beautiful reading. Oh, your guys' love is so pure, Scorpio. Look at that. So we have stone people vigilance. So this has been a long time coming, okay? Where you may have felt like you were at this point where you could not feel anymore. Like you felt like your heart at times was like a, a rock of stone. All of those feelings are going to dissipate when, you know, you go come into union with your twin. The clouds are going to part and you're going to feel your heart chakra expand and overflow, right? And it's because you've been patient and you've been on this journey for such a long time. And you deserve this connection, Scorpio. Yes, you do. It's a great time to be a Scorpio. You've remained vigilant to your twin flame path and to the journey. And you never gave up even when you felt like you wanted to. And because of that, because you kept going and you kept believing that it was possible, it is possible. Oh, Scorpio, what a beautiful energy. If anything resonated with you, please like and subscribe. It's completely free to you and it helps me to grow my channel and it helps me to reach more twin flames who are waiting to come into union. Congratulations, Scorpio. I love you so much. If you want to book a reading with me, just click on the description box underneath my video. Click on the Goldie appointment fix and that will book your reading with me. Like I said, again, congratulations, Scorpio. You found your twin flame union. I'm going to say it again. You found your twin flame union. Now, let's welcome in the new batch of Scorpios that need guidance. I love you, Scorpio.